So check this out. I uh, was gonna go on a camping trip tomorrow and I was supposed to be going with my buddies. Turns out one of my buddies couldn't go. So we're supposed to leave tomorrow. Well, plans change and I'm kind of excited that plans change because I really wanted to get there as soon as possible. I just needed a break. So I was kind of sitting there thinking, I'm like, what if I went today? Now my little brother is gonna be coming with me. So here's what's gonna happen is we're gonna go and meet in Lubbock. We're gonna pick up some food. We're gonna load up the cooler and then we're just gonna drive until we hit some mountains and uh, set up shop. So I have a lot to do. It's one o'clock right now and I need to pack up all my camping stuff because uh, I was expecting to leave tomorrow. So I was planning on all day just packing up camping stuff. I need to load up the 4Runner. I need to get the vehicle set for the dogs. I also need to get a bunch of my stuff charged up and I have outlets in here so I can do that. But it's gonna be a busy next hour to try and get on the road by two o'clock. We're gonna load up everything and then we're gonna hit the trail, AKA the highway, and then we'll hit the real trail. But I'm pumped. I've been wanting to do this for a while. So you guys are gonna come along, see what is out there in the Lincoln National Forest. We're gonna do some photography along the way and uh, just do a lot of exciting stuff. So we'll be there for three days, come back Saturday evening and uh, it's gonna be awesome. So let's get ready for this. All right, so we are all packed up. I got the pups in the back and got the top of the car loaded up. Plan is just kind of take it easy. So let's get on the road. All right, so just pulled into Lubbock. Our brother just got in here with us. Hey uh, So we're gonna go grocery shop. So I think it's about four and a half hours from here. Ooh, four hours, something like that. Got all of his stuff loaded and uh, then we'll be on the road. All right, so we've made it to camp. It was a long road getting here. I took some route that was not the right route and took us to private property. So we had to do some backtracking and it, it was long. We got here, we're set up. We're sleeping in hammocks tonight. I got the dogs tied up. We're just hanging out and enjoying the stars and relaxing a little bit. So as you can tell, I got ISO boosted on this thing and we got this lights going and I didn't feel like hooking up my other lights set up. So this is what you got for tonight. Tonight we're just gonna hang out, listen to music and uh, go to sleep here. So nothing crazy, but we did finally make it. Thank goodness. All right, so we obviously are awake now, but we're at our campsite. We got everything set up back there. We're actually packing everything up right now because we're gonna go meet our buddy in town and get some lunch there. So we had bacon and eggs this morning and uh, didn't make any coffee, but there's a great place in town that I'm gonna get some coffee. So that's why I, was, I held off, but uh, we got in really late. Our normal camp spot was taken. So we kind of just found this place and didn't really know what we we're looking for. Me and my brother both, um, there's two trees right here and we usually hammock camp. So we just set up on either one of these trees and I usually actually use my front bumper. He mounted this side, I mounted that side and um, since it's a, a full steel bumper replacement, like it, it can handle the weight. I put the dogs in the car and they slept inside. Woke us up at about 5.30, uh, but so did the sun. So I brought them out, hooked them back up to the leashes and I actually hopped back in the hammock and I slept till what, nine o'clock? About 9.15 yeah. in. Really, we didn't get to bed till like 12.30 or 1, so I was exhausted. We're gonna finish packing up. We gotta reorganize the back of the 4Runner because there's just a bunch of crap that both of us have, and so we're just gonna make our life a little easier. I did have the box with all my camping stuff up on top, but it's just not good because the latches are broken on it. I'm actually gonna replace that box soon. I'm going to put the box in the back with the cooler. The dogs have enough room with the second seat folded down. They'll stay there and then we're gonna head back into town, get some barbecue, get some coffee, and hang out and see what kind of routes we can find. So let's get it. So we're gassing up real quick. My buddy Alex got some trail pulled up. We met with the guy that's at Black Bear Coffee. He's helped us out actually several times on these trips. So we got several we're gonna try out. So I'm getting some gas before we head out and uh, let's see what we can find out there.
So we're about two thirds through this trail we've been on. It's been awesome. We hit desert to some like small forest to now we're like in the pines, which is super cool. So we just stopped, we found a creek, let the dogs drink a little bit. So we're about to continue and this should take us back into Cloudcroft. We're having a great time. It's been a lot of fun. We've kind of gotten some fun climbs in too. It's been really cool. So let's keep going. <laughs> All right, so this is camp for the morning and last night. I didn't get to record it all last night because I uh, did a pretty bad job of charging all the batteries. Last night we got some pretty cool shots. Had a lot of fun. We're just doing, trying to do some star photography, um, astrophotography, but we had a ton of clouds, so that made it very difficult. But we did get some cool shots. It was a great night. It wasn't too chilly. We didn't hear anything too weird. And uh, it, it was fun overall. And I think we're gonna try and hit a loop, is that right? Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna try and hit a loop. After cruising on these little roads with all this gravel, we finally decided to air down. And then when we stopped to air down, that's actually where we set up camp. We're actually aired down because was, the ride was so rough yesterday. So that'll be uh, nice as we kind of keep going through because it's it's pretty rocky through here in some areas. Definitely some fun little trails though and some great camping. So the sites are pretty legit. I'm gonna turn around so you can just catch a glimpse of where we... So I also forgot to mention, I'm going to do my favorite thing that I'll have to do when I go camping, and that's to make a good cup of coffee. Gotta keep grinding, it takes a little bit. Here's the payoff, delightful cup of black coffee. There's nothing better than like a warm hot cup of coffee with, sorry, it is so funny trying to talk with him, knocking down this tree behind me. There's a dead tree, he's just having at it, but nothing better than a great cup of coffee. If you don't have like a great method for brewing coffee whenever you're camping, overlanding, whatever it is you're doing, you need to look up the Stumptown method, get a Kalita Wave and a hand grinder and a scale. I'm telling you, it changes the coffee game for you in a big way. It's legit. All right, so this is my buddy Alex. We just met yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> but we're in a Forerunner group for the state of Texas. I was like, hey, let's go camping. He's like, I wanna come. So you've had your Forerunner, what, for uh, a month? Yeah, a month, three weeks. And how many trips have you been already? Four, five. Yeah, so he's been getting busy out there. So he's been, he's been cruising. So he's been pulling up some routes for us. And that's what yesterday, we kind of took turns taking lead and we did a pretty good long route. It was probably what, two hours? Yeah, about two hours. So it was fun. And then we got out here and this probably took us only an hour to get out here. Half of it was pretty smooth dirt road and the rest of it was like rock. Hey Scott, will you stop for a second? Hi. The other half was like rock gravel road. So today we're gonna plan, where are we going? What do you think? You got some options for us? Looks like this loops all the way around Cloudcroft. It looks long. Long? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do this loop, we'll record it, maybe we'll be able to keep it for the future. Yeah, that'd be and, cool. And those uh, select individuals that are lucky enough to get the, get the route. The maps, yeah. yeah. get the maps. 
I know that's like the golden thing to have out here. We'll hit that, and then we'll probably what? You think go back into town? Yeah, get, get some, some barbecue. Lunch. And barbecue. Yeah, home. I'm down. I'm like down for barbecue again. Yeah, Scott, I mean, that's why we're here. You want some barbecue again? That's right. I'm telling you, if you're in Cloudcroft, you need to go to Mad Jack's. It is a game changer. It's so good. Best place on earth. Best place on earth. This dude literally hates every kind of food. And he got like a chopped barbecue brisket sandwich. I've never seen him more excited about eating food ever. Uh, it's legit. And we'll probably, my guess will probably head out from there. Yeah. Not a lot else we can do with the time because we want to get back before it's not too late. He has to drive back home. So, all right, that's the plan for today. I guess we'll uh, pack up camp and get back on the road. So let's do it. All right. So we just finished up driving. One second. Airing up both vehicles now as we get back on the road. I'm like really pumped that we went out as far as we did because this place like packed up so much. The place I camped at the first night, there's like four different people. We were the furthest out people and there's probably maybe someone 15 minutes down the trailhead I think from us. We did hear some gunshots last night. So uh, glad we weren't near that. We'll get all aired up and back on the road and some good cooking. So just like that, we're done. We uh, ended up going and getting pizza because the barbecue place was like full line down the street. So we have left Cloud Croft. We're about out of the mountains now. We got four hours till we're back in Lubbock so he can head back north um, and I can head home. So it was a great trip. Thank you guys for jumping in and hanging out with us. It was awesome. I'm looking forward to the next one. Continue hanging out with us. See what other adventures we go on. We got some other cool things in store. So. Thank you guys again, and we will see you guys next time. Take care.